lead singer of the Lame Flames yeah. on April Fool's Day. Yeah. He divorced her or she, she divorced it him? It says Duff divorces Mandy. Yeah, right. And Who John, wrote that? His publicist? John and Yoko. You know what I'm saying? Do, John and Yoko released a hoax. Anything. I don't believe anything Listen, anybody. Listen, John and Yoko on April Fool's Day, you know what they did? They got naked. They they said that they were and they having. Took a picture. And Dave from Facade Studios took a picture of them with Lennon's Willie with his wee wee. Well, they out. actually said they were each gonna have <laughs> sex change operations and turn into the opposite sex. I'm gonna do that with Triple X, Jess. Yeah, they said that. They yeah. said that on April Fool's Day. Hey, baby, Triple X, Jess, you be me, I'll be you. All right. How Let's romantic. Let's try that. Let's try that. Yes, and um. Hey, baby. You remember the Maytag repairman? I do. It, it's his birthday today. He's a cool guy. It's his birthday. You know what? That is a cool dude. Yeah. Because every time I've seen him, he's happy. He's smiling. He's not, and he's he's not doing anything. He's getting paid for not doing anything. You, you ever notice that about him? No, on the couch, honey. This he, is our, he, our new friend he, Inky. He's usually he's usually just like standing next to some kind of a dryer or a washer. He's never fixing it because it never has to be fixed. But you know he's on the clock. Making 50, 60 bucks an hour. <laughs> yeah, and Bonnie and Clyde. I love that dude. You remember Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah. They killed two cops on April Fool's Day. Well, I'm not going to say yay or nay because I don't know the cops it's they killed. It's just a fact. But if I had to guess, if they were just like any other cops from that time, they were probably crooked and corrupt, and they probably deserved it. Yeah, there were cops arresting somebody when I was coming. They were probably the on the make. Station. They were probably on the make. It was a or it's big a, or thing it's a going detain. on. I don't know. It's a, it's a term I'm not familiar there with. There was a huge incident going on when I got on the train to come up here today. With Bonnie and Clyde? About Bonnie and Clyde? Um, no, but there were police arresting somebody who was really not happy about it. <laughs> oh man! Welcome to New York. Yeah. Now go and people, home. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, they not a happy. Stupid. Person. Who's in the studio now? This is Inky Glass. Hi, Inky. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell us about yourself. What are you doing? What's going on? I am just starting mm -hmm. out. Uh -huh. and just starting out doing with what? What do you mean? Well, with my acoustic single uh -huh. show. Oh. Um, but I've been performing for since 1986. Uh-huh. And now all these people on Facebook are, like, finding me. And they're like, wow. So when you say performing, what do you mean? Like performing with a band or by, or like just... Well, I started out in the theater. Okay. Actually, I started out in the theater in 1976. Where are, you, where are you from, Inky? Philadelphia. Really? I'm from Philadelphia, too. Really? I am. Where did you grow up in Philadelphia? Um, the greater, greater Northeast. Bustleton Summer? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, Phil so Mott. I grew up in Bustleton Summer area. Yeah. I went to George Washington High School. Me, too. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh class of 87. 82. Oh, you must know my brother, then. Who? Bruce Coleman. It sounds familiar. You probably know him. He was all over the place. He set the cafeteria on fire what in 1978. Yeah. At George Washington High School? Yes, he did. In 78? Yeah. He also bought a Who's whole bunch calling? of mice. Was he a greaser, a jock, or a nerd? He was all three. Hmm. <laughs> Bruce Coleman. So was I he, don't know. he had the Odd Squad. Do you remember the Odd Squad? I don't, no, I don't think so. Where okay. did he hang out? Did he hang out at Bruce's across the street? Bruce's? No, yeah. Aldo's? Aldo's? Yeah. Aldo's, yes. I don't believe this shit, man. <laughs> Philly, Philly, she Philly. She knows Aldo's. I know April Aldo's. Fools. I got, it's I got, all a big joke. Yeah, That's right. Ha, ha. <laughs> I got accused for carrying a gun in Bruce's, and, and they went to Aldo's. Oh, no. Because they, wanted to hit, they, 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 they claimed that the guy at Aldo's was going to testify on behalf of the guy who supposedly got a gun uh, pulled out oh, on him or something. I don't know. Oh, oh man. Inky, unbelievable. Yeah. un So that believable. was the first time I was ever on stage, George Washington High School. Really? I was in two plays at once. You never heard of Bob Cooch? Cooch? I mean, the Cooch? Yes. You have, right? Yeah. That's me, yo. Really? <laughs> I thought you were just B. <laughs> Today I'm B, but back in the day, yo, I was the Cooch. I, I do know the Cooch. Yeah, that's What me. do you know about him? Yeah. Well, I just know the name. Yeah, I was sure. under a rock yeah. when I lived in Northeast Philly. It's all good. It's all good. I was, I, I all was right. definitely under a rock. Enough about me. Enough about him. This is not about me. All right? <laughs> you went to Philadelphia. You're from Philadelphia. I'm from Philadelphia. You went into theater. I went into theater. After high school? In high school. Uh-huh. 
And um, I was in two plays at once. I was in Cabaret. Okay. Which is about stripping. Yeah. Well, it's about, you know, the Kit Kat Club. Do you, and still, then I was do you also... still remember some, some moves or some, like, Oh, yeah, I remember scene? the dancing. Well, I, let's, yes. Who were you can in we Cabaret? See a little bit, I was what? a Kit Kat girl. Oh, you said that. Do you yeah. remember? Yeah. Can you do some of those moves still or what? Um, no. no. Oh, all right. Well. No, I damaged my knees too much. Um, Doing that, what? Wah, wah, dancing. Wah, wah. <laughs> I need a sound effect of the Pac-Man dying at this point right now. <laughs> I was a great Pac-Man player in Philly. You still are. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man or regular Pac-Man? Both. I I've turned into a, like a. Um, I never really was a pinball wizard, and but in Philly, I learned how to play so much pinball and video games. Uh -huh. I got so good at yeah. it. Philly's good for that. Centipede, yeah. There's nothing else to do there. Yeah. Except eat cheesesteaks and, and soft do a pretzels. And lot of naughty things at illicit hours of the day. Well, that's oh, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Well, but especially so Philly. You did some theater. So, so you did some I, I, Philadelphia. And, and filthy, true. filthy, filthy. I love yes. Philadelphia. Yeah, the Bacchanals. Do you remember the Bacchanals? Bacchanal Club on, on South Street. It was at South Street and 13th Street, the Bacchanal. It was I'm run by these two I didn't dudes. Go there. I used to go to the East I remember Side Club. Schmidt's Beer. Did you go to East Side Club? No. Oh, my God. I remember <laughs> Schmidt's Beer and Frank Soda. The oh, Club. yeah, Frank Soda. Ever. Oh, yeah, Frank Soda. I love Frank Soda. So but after the theater. Bacchanals, the Bacchanals is where Ripley I got. Ripley on South Street. Ripley, yeah. Yeah, and Turn Dobbs, all them yeah, clubs down yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But I used to, it, the Bacchanals was like where um, I used to, I drank the first time. Nice. I did all my drinking, early what age happened? drinking. What happened that night when you drank the first time? <laughs> you want to do it now? No, we'll do it later. <laughs> Listen, after the theater, right? Then so, I, I, well, then I went to Europe and I. Where did you go in Europe? All over the place. Really? I went to. Um, ah, that's called Sleep Your Way Through Europe. No, I performed my way through not Europe. Everybody's I was like you, Ruth. Not Come me. on, stop I'm it. Not me. Go ahead, Inky. Inky's a responsible girl. And, I did. Um, I didn't quote that phrase. I, I mean, I quoted that phrase. Well, I I tried to play. I didn't coin that phrase. <laughs> I tried to play my guitar, but they threw tomatoes at me. Which at country? least you were fed. In, um, at yeah, least, at least yeah. you didn't starve. Yeah, I didn't starve too right, much. Right. Um, I, that was in England, uh, in London. Really? I, but that's how I found an apartment in London because this guy was like, "Hey, can you play me that song again?" And it was like Bob Dylan, like blowing in the wind, and I, you know, like the same three chords. <laughs> Speaking of blowing, what did you do in Europe to, like, survive and just kind of, like, make it through the time that you were there and all oh, that type of know, stuff? Oh, you know, so you're allowed to say stuff like that. What did I That's say? That's your time. <laughs> what did I say? I didn't say anything. Blowing? <laughs> she said blowing. I didn't say blowing. Yes, she did. I she said blowing. You said I didn't sleep with anybody. Oh. I almost, I almost became a hooker. Where? Uh, in, a ki in a club. I almost became a... Never um, doubt me. I almost became one of those... What dancers in the myself. in the strip clubs? Because well, what happened was I hey, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. But hey, because of my dude, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not really. And it's guys like me that sit there and shell out the bucks and appreciate it. Oh, like well, A Rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a, a just a brother a from break. another we mother. Got a break for like a who's filthy rich commercial, and we'll be back. Brother, with can you glass. spare a dime? Arizma Radio. Right, let me put something com. on. Wow, Ruby's bro. world. Let me put something on. Hasta luego. Can enjoy. Can enjoy.